Hello friends. Good day to you all. So today I'm actually gonna be showing you a tour of the OpenStack dashboard. Uh, that is the code. The code name for that is the Horizon. Horizon. The Horizon OpenStack dashboard. I'm gonna be doing uh, a tour, showing you the various uh, components and what you can do. Uh, this is going to be a brief video, but later I will do a more in-depth video of uh, actually administration of uh, OpenStack from the Horizon dashboard. So uh, this uh, OpenStack version is the new team version. Uh, as of January 2017, this is the latest. Uh, I installed this uh, based on the RDO uh, OpenStack uh, uh, using the PackStack. Uh, utility so uh, let's log in let's log in into my open stack cloud so uh, i'm logging logging in as the administrator of this cloud uh, environment so uh yeah they, it it kind of takes yeah, a, a couple of seconds to log in so let me start up at the uh Basically, when, when you log in uh, to your OpenStack, I think what you see depends on maybe the last thing you were looking at before you logged out. So, but I'll start at the project. So, this is the dashboard for the uh, new team version of OpenStack. So, the f uh, uh, let me start at the project actually. Uh, I think that's the first tab. So the pro the project actually shows the relevant information about the current project uh, that are in this cloud. So and by project, uh, that's synonymous to tenant in OpenStack. So but right now I have only one tenant. Uh, I have only one project that is the admin project. So uh, if I click on compute. So as you know, OpenStack uh, generally is made up of uh, the compute, the network, uh, and uh, and the storage, uh, basically. So that that those are the most essential part of uh, any cloud. So on the compute, I show you the overview. So the overview shows uh, what what is this usage? You know how much have I used? Uh, how many number of instances am I? Uh, uh, can I use? How much have I used? Uh, how many number of virtual CPUs have I used? Uh, how many number of RAMs? Uh, floating IPs, security groups, volumes, uh, and uh, volume storage. So that's the overview. So from time to time, uh, if you find yourself in a situation where there's an error. You can come here to look at maybe uh, one of your resources uh, uh, is used up. So uh, next, I can click on instances. So the instances uh, shows me the instances that I have available running or shut down. Basically, any instances that I have in this uh, project. So right now in my project, I have just one instance the instance name is server one or uh, the image name is center seven so the ip address information is here the size the key that's the key right now i don't have any key uh, but if i have any key uh, ssh key uh, specifically it's going to show up here uh, the status so the status is is the, is the active is the or uh, uh, not active so Availability zone or task, maybe there's a task that is running, the past date, and uh, how long has, it, has this server been running? So, this has been running for one day and uh, two hours. So, uh, you, so on the on the particular instance, um, you can see that you can do a lot of things on this instance, you can deassociate the floating IP. Or attach interface. You can delete the instance. You can reboot it. 
or you can rebuild it you can uh, console into it so that that is a uh, uh, so uh, a caveat will be uh, that I have to actually give is that uh, what you see here depends on uh, what rights that you have so I'm logged in as an administrator so I see everything uh, that I, I, I can do so if you are not the administrator of your cloud you, you might not have uh, this much options so uh, let's go to the volumes so this here if you need to create a volume that's a cinder volume uh, that you need to as attach to your instance uh, to give you uh, persistent storage this is where you can create a volume so image so the image uh, service uh, is managed by glance glance is the uh, service that manages images and images are Open stack uh, images are basically uh, most likely in a QCAL2 format. So I have here a CentOS image, I have a Cirrus image. The Cirrus image is a very small image that is used for testing. Uh, and I have a custom image that I built myself. If you need to get more images, you can search the open stack uh, image. Uh, if you go to their site, there are lots more images. The next now show is the access and security. So access and security here. Yeah, what do we have here? We have our security groups. So basically, what are security groups? Or uh, uh, they are synonymous to firewall or IP tables. So basically, here you can specify the port or uh, uh, the specifically the ports that are allowed in or out you know, from your environment. You can create more IP uh, security group uh, uh, as you want. Here you can create your key PS. Key PS refers to SSH key specifically. So because uh, in the cloud environment, the, uh, the 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 prevalent common method of accessing instances are SS through SSH. Uh, and uh, SSH keys, so using SSH keys specifically rather than using uh, password. Uh, here we have floating IPs. So floating IPs are like the IPs that uh, are supposed to give you uh, uh, give you access, uh, you know, from an external environment or external network into your instances. Uh, we have API access. So this. Uh, a file, one very very important file here is uh, the RC file. So if you are, if you want to execute command line utilities, you can use the RC files. You have to download this file and source it. You know uh, that will give you the uh, the environment variables that you need to set uh, to to do it on the command line. I'll show this in more details later. So let's go to the network. So the network uh, here we have the network topology. So the network topology basically shows uh, the topology of my network as I as what I have at the moment. Uh, at the moment I have two. I have two private network and I have one external network. So the external network is the network that gives me access you know from my internet the two other network are private network they only exist within the cloud uh, i cannot this cannot be used to uh for external access so the, the router this is the router this is uh, uh the way or the network attach so we have uh attachment of uh the, the networks especially the the external network serves as the gateway the gateway to which uh, you can you know like I said for external access or uh, static route if you have any static route to define I don't have any so this uh, firewall so firewall uh, again uh, is synonymous to the security group but the firewall here is uh, implemented in neutron or uh, neutron service so uh, and this uh, firewall 
or uh, you can create a firewall also or uh, basically it also it's a, w a way to basically define uh, security for your environment so you can either use a firewall or security groups for your environment or uh, uh, another thing we have here is the orchestration orchestration refers to it uh, that is uh, so I actually have a it template here so this it template I used it to define my networks so that every time I create my cloud I don't need to create all the nest networks uh, by hand I create them automatically so this is the uh, for so this uh, this is like so th this actually is my template actually this is the template for my I wrote this myself so template for my networks so uh, this is actually very uh, useful if you have an environment you can create a lot of things you can create instances network volumes uh, and uh, there's a cheat sheet actually you know with which so when you are building your template you can look at this for you know examples so for example if you need to create a neutron port or uh, you come here it gives you an explanation of how to create it and uh, uh, it's very useful so template versions uh, refers to you know what uh, version you want to use there the versions are uh, specified by like year month and day so uh let's go to object store so object store uh this is similar to the s3 aws s3 uh buckets so we have the uh object store the, the container uh, for the for the objects object store so uh, that is impl that is uh a Swift service, so the service that manages this is uh, called Swift in OpenStack. So uh, after the project, another major tab is the administration tab. So the admin tab uh, is actually where uh, the administrator come to do a lot of uh, administrative work. You know, like uh, it gives the uh, overview of the entire uh, the usage. Of the entire cloud, or uh, you know, like the resource usage, uh, the hypervisors. Hypervisors refers to the compute node. So if you have multiple compute nodes, you'll be able to see uh, the compute nodes here and their usage. I have only one compute node in my environment, so and this is uh, what shows up here. Um, what else? so you can also see things like uh, so for your network you can there are some actions you can perform under the administrative tab that you can perform anywhere so for example creating of an external network you actually have to come here to do or creation of a to, to do some uh, configuration on it so uh, and uh, let's go to identity. Identity is where you can create. So you can we can create another project. Let's say we want to create another project, uh, another tenant uh, project. Like I said, project and tenant are synonymous in the OpenStack environment. Uh, users, you can create users. You can delete users. Uh, you can create groups. Uh, you can create roles. So roles can be like the you know, things like uh, uh, the eat owner, the reseller, admin, the administrator, so that you don't want uh, an ordinary member to be able to have opportunity to d delete uh, a resource that belongs to another tenant. So uh, this is uh, basically like the overview of the horizon dashboard for OpenStack Neutron. Uh, I I am working on a, a video to show actually how to, you know, to use uh, each of these. Uh, you know, creation of instances, creation of network, 
uh, I plan to do uh, a demonstration uh, about uh, in-depth administration from the OpenStack dashboard. So I hope this has been uh, beneficial to you. I hope you learn one or two things. Uh, you can, uh, if you plan to install another video I plan to do is actually installation uh, of OpenStack uh, based on the pack stack or uh, RDO pack stack. Uh, this is a very good uh, resource. Uh, I plan to do that video also. So uh, I hope this has been uh, beneficial to you. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, see you. Bye.